Hey, 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 whoops, names, this is Tortem the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Grey version. Uh, today we are on an icy route, and you guys all put together icy route trainer teams. And uh, we are leading off today with E Cat, who came at us with a very festive little team. He had a Christmas tree here. Um, but. We are this week in the RU tier, uh, so we've moved out of NU into RU after our gym battle last week, um, because our upcoming gym, uh, gym number four, I believe, is uh, an RU tier gym. So we've got a couple of new members to our team. You guys will notice a familiar, a new yet familiar face there. Um, Boots the Ambi Palm um, is in the RU tier, and so I figured I would bring uh, bring her back on board. Always gotta have Boots if possible. Um, then we have got, obviously, Fumesy still, uh, several familiar faces. We've got Black of our, uh, Depth Charge and Fumesy still from when we were in NU. Uh, and then I decided to, uh, add several new Pokemon just for variety's sake. I, I was actually pretty happy with how our team's been working out the last couple of weeks, but, uh, I figured why not? Uh, we've got the opportunity to bring on some new people, so we've got a new Rodom form. Uh, we've got Boots, and then we've got Lol, our Scrafty, so, uh, some familiar faces uh, from some of the newcomers, and then uh, uh, we've got uh, obviously the uh, the same. Uh, we've got a Rotom still, but it's not Vornado. Now it's Deer, John Deer, and because uh, we got the Rotom Mo version, it's the grass one, which wasn't ideal necessarily for the ice uh, route that we've got today. But uh, yeah, some of you guys, uh, Ecat uh, in this battle, and a couple of you guys, even other other of you guys today, had issues with Fumesy still. Which I kind of scratch my head. I I, you, I normally feel bad when I try to when I accidentally sweep people, um, but when it's Fumesy, <laughs> he's been on the team for like the entire series, guys. You gotta come up with a you gotta come up with a strategy to take on Fumesy, because uh, otherwise he'll just wreck your face. Uh, and so yeah, um, sorry not sorry I guess. Get a special attacker with a psychic move uh, and and take him out. He's He's not that hard to kill, uh, so yeah, and, and especially for, I mean, yeah, I mean, these guys have been around, so if, if, if you can't get through my, my walls, my defensive walls, um, <laughs> they've been around for weeks, so just, I just want to throw that out there, make sure you guys are thinking about that kind of stuff when you're building your teams, yeah, we had the ice root thing, and so I, yeah, you guys pretty much were trying to go for that, there's deer. Uh, our Rotom form coming in up against the Drapion there, uh, switching into LOL. But yeah, I mean, think about it. If I've got the same Pokemon on my team all the time, I mean, my starter um, is a Poison type. So I would think that a Psychic type of some form would be uh, preferable. But, you know, uh, whatever. You guys just th think about the Pokemon that are on the team when you're building your teams, because I, I don't want to have to feel bad about being you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you Ecat so much for participating this week. I really enjoyed your festive themed team there. Let's jump into the next trainer and see what you guys had for us this week as well. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go up against Codeman. Man, a lot of them are the weird uh, the per perspective switch this week, I guess. But Codeman came at us uh, leading off with the Sneasel and Boots was able to outspeed it with the fake out there and able to take it down. So Boots doing some good work. I love Boots. I was actually surprised to see that it was only in the RU tier. I hear, but it was actually funny. So, um, I just uh, before I bat, Codeman was actually the first battle this week. I accidentally got him out of order when I uh, when I started recording here. So Ecat went first uh, in the recording, but I actually battled Codeman first this week. And it turned that um, Showdown was having some issues earlier this week, um, but um, anyway, all of my teams got deleted, and I hadn't done a backup in a while. Um, so Codeman sends me the request and I can't, I couldn't accept it because I didn't have any teams. I was like, oh crap, you're gonna have to give me a second. So I had to quick, um, rebuild this team, um, and I just used the base Smogon, uh, sets or whatever. I just was like, okay, I know I had an Ambipalm, I know I had, this. so I just copied the base sets or whatever and pasted them in there. And the name, they, all the, all the sets normally have names, and the name of Ambipalm set was, don't use Ambipalm. <laughs> And the description was just like, Ambipom's terrible, don't use it. But I love it. Uh, so take that. Um, Ambipom does good work for me, and so does Boots. Or uh, uh, Apom, so I don't know. Um, but I use, I think I use Ambipom and OU. Anyway, let's check out the next one. Uh, Codeman, thank you so much for the battle. He came at us with a smaller uh, team, which I actually really appreciate sometimes when people do that. Um, 
because since we're trying to make this kind of a run through game, a lot of trainers only have like two or three Pokemon. So that's really cool to see when you guys do that. And it's, uh, obviously, uh, it doesn't make it very competitive. He didn't stand a chance this week, but um, it, it's kind of cool for variety's sake sometimes. So thank you, Code Man, so much for participating again this week. And uh, I'm glad that uh, it, Code Man has recently joined the PXO server. He's on my Pixelmon server, and uh, he was re recently talking trash about Apom and Ambipom. So I was glad that Boots was able to knock some sense into him uh, this this week. So thank you, so thank you so much for Code Man, and we'll see what the rest of you guys have in store for us here on the icy roots of Head. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go, battle number three up against Ace Trainer Nerion, and Nerion leads off with his Glaceon. Um, and uh, we lead off with Boots, as we tend to do when Boots is on the team. Uh, it was kind of nice when I saw Ambipom on the list, I was like, okay, good. Because one of the things I had issues with um, in NU, and it wasn't really an issue. It, it wasn't an issue, because we ended up, that team ended up actually working pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that team. But um, we didn't really have a good lead. I, I didn't, like, I was always like, okay, well, I guess I'll throw out Fumzy, because people use a lot of physical attackers. And if a special attacker came out, I could always switch in a death charge or somebody else, and it'd be fine. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, so when I, I saw Apom on the list for, uh, RU, I was like, oh, great, I've got a definite, you know, lead now, because I always use, I use a MB Pom for everything. So, um, yeah, so that was, that was fun. Uh, glad to have Boots back on the team. Boots kind of did what Boots does and, and does some damage and then gets knocked out. Lol comes in then, our Scrafty, and uh, the Moxie boost is going to be helping her out quite a bit here. Uh, especially up against uh, an all-ice team. Um, not much uh, that could stand up to Lol's uh, attacks there. Uh, Regiice finally takes Lol down. Deer comes in with the Bolt Switch for the cleanup there, takes out the Regiice. And then Fumzy comes in against the Glalie. And uh, Glalie Mega Evolves, uh, throws up that Ice Beam, which does good damage against Fumzy. See, special attacks can hurt Fumzy. <laughs> uh, so that works out. Uh, in fact, I think, yeah, they even get the kill here. So uh, Nerion takes Fumzy down. Gonna bring Deer in at that point. Gonna go for the Volt Switch. Uh, switching into Mantine, I believe. Yep. Uh, to take the, uh, the Water Pulse. We got lucky with that one. Uh, not sure why they didn't go for the Ice Beam there against Mantine. Or against Deer. Maybe they were thinking I was bringing... I don't know. Uh, Water Pulse was a bad idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Depth Charge able to come in and finish off uh, the Mega Glalie. And, uh, yeah, we took down Ace Trainer Nurion. So, uh, thank you so much for the battle this week, Nurion. I appreciate your continued participation in the series. Let's see what the rest of you IC Trainers have in store for us. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, here we go up against Ace Trainer Nougat. And Nougat leads off with uh, the uh, Siglyph, but switches right out when it sees Boots. Boots goes for the fake out, which doesn't do a ton to rice, but the brick break does. The four times weakness there uh, finishes off that guy, no trouble. Boots comes out when uh, Boots. Oh, I didn't even realize that his was named Boots. That's funny. Uh, I saw. I knew that he had an Ambi Palm on his team. I didn't even look at the name. That's. I, I'm just so used to calling it Boots. I must not have even registered that, that was a thing. Uh, so uh, my Boots uh, switches out from his Boots, and then Fumzy comes in. We threw up the Will O Wisp on uh, Pringles. It was I think intended for Boots, but uh, Pringles comes in to take it. Um, and uh, Death Charge is going to start using the Air Slash. Death Charge taking some good damage from the Pringles here. Uh, this Pringles was definitely uh, a bit of a stinker. Uh, it took us a little bit of time to get through it here. Uh, Deer is coming in, going to throw up the, uh, I think, the Leaf Storm. Yeah, which does pretty good damage to the uh, special, uh, or the uh, the Ice type uh, Glalie there. Uh, Boots then comes in. I throw up the knockoff and one shot Psycho Mantis. Um, I don't even think that one was a crit. Uh, no, it was not. So, uh, yeah. Good job, Boots, there. Fumzy comes in to take, uh, his Boots, uh, knockoff. Speaking of knockoff, what a knockoff Boots there, man. Uh, we, uh, we've got the real Boots. The OG. Uh, Fumzy comes in, uh, going to switch out from Pringles. Pringles throws up the Hydro Pump, gonna hit our Boots hard. Um, and then we are gonna, I think, throw up the knockoff again. Uh, hits Advil for good damage there, uh, gets rid of the Life Orb, does some good damage, but Boots is going to go down to the priority Ice Shard, uh, and then Deer comes in at that point, going to Bolt Switch on out, uh, going to kill the Sneasel, bring in Blackavar then at that point, Blackavar's going to set up the Home Claws here, and uh, going to get Will-O-Wisp unfortunately, again this Pringles man, what a pain in the butt, um, going to throw up the Sucker Punch, but uh, Nougat pretty much somehow manages to predict every time I'm going to do that, uh, and he goes for the uh, recover instead. Um, we get the Hex here, uh, and Blackavar is taking some serious damage. 
Um, but with still, uh, you know, five on three at this point, so I'm not really worried, but Pringles is definitely being a pain in my side. Uh, so we land the poison jab here, um, and then the Pringles throws up the recover, uh, and Blackavar is going to go down to the burn. So Blackavar's down, I bring in Deer at that point, throw up the Thunderbolt, does pretty good damage there. Thunderbolt gets disabled uh, from a cursed body, and since I am running the Choice Scarf on Deer, gotta get out of there. Uh, can't continue to hammer away at Pringles, and my only move's been uh, disabled. Uh, Lol's going to set up the Dragon Dance. Gonna get will o wisp there, um, but uh, the Lumberry that Wall carries uh, takes care of that no problem. Uh, and then we throw up the knockoff. It is a crit here, um, but I don't even, like, I think the crit might have mattered because that thing was pretty bulky, but at the same time, I don't know that it did. And honestly, that thing was so annoying that I don't even feel sorry about it. Uh, stally tactics, I, you know, I, I don't feel bad uh, when, when those get taken care of, so uh, yeah. Uh, Pringles is dead. Fumesy comes in up against Boots. We do land the Will-O-Wisp here. Um, and so Boots is going to uh, power punch and get uh, its attack back up to normal, I believe, is where it goes. Um, and then we're going to get Deer out here. Uh, Deer has the Choice Scarf, so throws up a Thunderbolt, takes out Boots. Uh, and then Face-Off comes in, Mega Evolves, and Thunderbolt takes it out right away. So... Uh, Whoo! Probably the closest battle we had this week. I don't really remember. Um, I don't remember what the next one is, but uh, I think it definitely the closest one we've had thus far, um, or at least uh, had the most annoying Pokemon award this week with Pringles. So anyway, thank you so much, Ace Trainer Nougat. I appreciate your participation. Uh, yeah, that was 31 turns, 31 turns for that battle. So we've got one more left on this icy route. Let's check it out, and then we'll figure out what we're doing next week. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here we go up against the Admiral Emulot, which uh, um, I think is a new participant this week. Um, but yeah, so they came at us with a very cool little team here. Not all ice, they've also got uh, Jellicent there, um, and um, we've got a Houndoom there as well, so uh, that looks good. Boots comes in with the Fury Swipes, finishes off the Whale Rain, uh, so that's looking good. Boots doing the work that Boots is meant to do. Uh, decide to switch Boots out here, but uh, they see that coming. Sneasel pursuits Boots in the face and takes it down. Um, and uh, Emerald Amulet actually does a pretty good job predicting me this time uh, with the switch and then brings in Houndoom knowing that the Will-O-Wisp was coming. I didn't recognize the name immediately, so I wasn't sure if they'd know what was coming with Fumesy, but um, I, I, I'm not real subtle with Fumesy usually, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't surprise me they were able to predict that, get the Flash Flyer on Houndoom. A Depth Charger is able to force it out though, then Jellicent comes in, we get the Toxic up on Jellicent. Depth Charger is going to come out here, bring Deer in, the Giga Drain doing uh, very, very little. Um, and then we are going to throw up uh, the Thunderbolt here, uh, doing decent damage to Tharja. Um, I don't know what that name's a reference to, but I'm sure it's something, it's kind of unique. Um, and then Deer is going to uh, kind of just wait it out and able to finish it off with the help of the Toxic damage. Uh, so that works out pretty nicely. Then Belfura comes in, uh, Fumesy comes back in for that, the Ice Go Crash landing, not doing a whole lot though. Um, expecting that they're expecting the Will-O-Wisp, I go for the Sludge Bomb here. Uh, not gonna fall for that again until uh, Houndour is dead. Bring in Depth Charge to take the Flamethrower, which actually does more than I would expect from uh, from a Flamethrower on a specially defensive wall. But uh, Bruno comes in to take the Scald. Uh, it does decent damage. Uh, I'm not real mad at that. Uh, we land the Toxic then as well, um, but it cures itself of poison using a Lumberry, just like Lol did in one of the previous battles. Um, and so that works out. Depth Charge, uh, then gonna continue to throw the Toxic up, but they're just gonna kinda wait out the burn here a little bit. Although Leftovers make that makes that difficult for them to do because we get most of our health back, but the Avalanche finally lands uh, and takes down Depth Charge. At that point, Lol comes in, we throw up the Dragon Dance. Um, and Dragon Dance Lol is going to take that uh, avalanche no problem. Uh, then we're going to throw up the high jump kick uh, and do some good damage to Bruno there. Uh, they land the Toxic, but again, then we use our Lumberry and finish it off. And the Toxic damage is uh, cured so much that it's able to take out the uh, the uh, Iceberg guy there. <laughs> I forget what Bruno's actual name is. Uh, it's something. I've used one before. Anyway, uh, Lol is able to take down Mega Glalie no problem, able to take down Houndour no problem. Uh, this team was made for uh, for Lol to take care of, and so uh, we're going to take an Ice Shard there, but then the High Jump Kick lands again. Thankfully, we got lucky that we didn't have any misses, uh, and uh, so we didn't have to crash and burn, but uh, Lol able to sweep through the rest of that team. 
uh, and finish it off for us. So um, thank you, Admiral Emulot, for uh, for the battle. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, and thank you, all of you guys, for your battles this week. I appreciate it. Uh, I think there was only one of you guys who I actually, I was responsible for missing. Um, there were some regulars who didn't make it in this week, but hey, that's no problem. Um, uh, not a big deal at all, but I want to apologize, especially to Mac. Um, I did see um, Mac tried to battle me Thursday morning, um, but uh, I hadn't. Most people turn up during the lunchtime slot. I don't really get a lot of activity in the morning time slot usually, so I was busy. I, I had it up in another tab, but I was recording something else, and I just totally missed it. And then he had to go to work before I got back to it. So I apologize for, uh, for that, Mac. Um, hopefully you'll be able to get in here next week, and if you can, let's go figure out what you'll be doing. So, let's head on there. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, so we've got our spreadsheet up here. We need to generate one through six to figure out what we're going to be doing this week. So let's go ahead and do that. And we rolled a three. Okay, so we've got a three here, and we that will be an evil team battle. So we've got an evil team. Awesome. Let's get that highlighted there. So we got an evil team battle in the RU tier. So there we go. That's all the information you guys need. So build up your evil teams, translate your previous evil teams into RU, however you guys want to do it. Again, I, I always stress this when evil team comes around because I got questions right the first time. You don't have to base it off of any existing evil team. Um, I know one of you guys usually does like a grass type evil team sort of thing. So it doesn't have to be a team magma, team aqua, doesn't have to be any of that kind of stuff. Just build a team that you feel represents evil and uh, come at me. And I will see you guys this week uh, with that. All the times and everything in the description down below. Make sure to check out that information. For those of you guys who have not yet participated but really want to, Pokemon Showdown is a free battle simulator that you don't have to download anything. It's all in your browser. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to give any information. You just show up, build a team, and battle. So the link in the description for that uh, down below as well. Uh, make sure to check it out, and I look forward to battling you guys this week. So, yeah, put your evil teams together, and I will see you there. Alrighty, guys, as always, I've been Torn with the Grain. You guys have been great. Have a good one.